Hello everyone, I am Dr. Saurabh Zoshi from the Vain Center and today I have been joined by a good friend and colleague Dr. Rohit Basapure and uh, we are going to talk about certain special situations of how we use Veena Seal differently. Now there are certain standard ways of using Veena Seal uh, which work for most people uh, but there are certain difficult situations where uh, the use of Veena Seal needs to be slightly modified to get a little better way, better results. It is not that you can't do it the standard way, but we found out by uh, because we do so many uh, certain ways of slightly tweaking the procedure would uh, would help our patients heal faster. One particular way was uh, how to treat these uh, giant uh, large ulcers around the ankles. So, uh, Dr. Rohit, can you describe to our uh, viewers and patients what challenges come when we are going to treat such a large ankle ulcer uh, with Vena Seal or any uh, any straight device? Yeah, the problem with large ulcers that are around the ankle is that uh, the uh, skin around the ulcer is quite thick and quite fibrous. Uh, so, it is not difficult to access the underlying uh, uh, say vein to treat it. So, even if we uh, manage to access the underlying vein, uh, there is a sheath that comes uh, with the uh, say uh, conventional uh, treatment methods or vena seal that is almost 7 to 10 centimeters in length. So, that particular length of uh, uh, segment of GSV or any underlying vein would be untreated because of the sheath. Uh, we can't treat the, uh, the vein uh, in which the sheath is placed. Uh, so, because that particular segment is not treated, which is especially under the ulcer, the result would always be suboptimal. Mm -hmm. Great. And uh, uh, I would also like to tell our viewers here that although the device can be used without a sheet, so it is not necessary to always use the sheets mm -hmm. there, uh, it can be used without a sheath as well. But the sheath or the uh, secondary a uh, small introducer sheath uh, used in vena seal is to protect the underlying soft tissues from exposure to the vena seal glue. So, uh, and uh, uh, it can be used, the procedure can be done without the sheath and theoretically, you know, it can be argued that you can reach more of the vein if you just don't use the sheath. Mm -hmm. But uh, in that way, we are then also exposing the patients, uh, you know, the underlying soft tissues which are out of the vein but under the skin to getting exposed to this uh, the uh, the vena seal glue and uh, which might cause irritation around the skin in that area so that's why um, that was a that was you know a counter to an argument that uh, uh, just don't use a sheath instead so uh, so that was the problem uh, rohit and uh, so what did we do about it you know we uh, uh, we tried uh, tried first tried going lower you know try to access below near the toes and try to get it that way but that was a little difficult because the gsv over there may be a little small so then uh, uh, we found this way of retrograde baloney access so this is where we instead of treating from the ankle up we treat from the knee down where we access around the ankle and then go downwards so that allows the tip of the catheter to go uh, further down and to be right under the ulcer where the large vein which is there under the ulcer uh, is uh, is then becomes treatable and then uh, once we treat downwards we again uh, take uh, another axis upwards where uh, uh, at the same place where we started from uh, below the knee to go down uh, another uh, you know after this is done we put uh, the same one upwards that way so that the, the vein from the knee up to the hip is again treated the, the treatment then is broken down into two parts, a, a calf downwards uh, for the ulcer to heal and the calf upwards for the large veins upwards to close. Mm -hmm. So this was a, uh, this was a method to, uh, to, to, to close the veins and that allowed us to reach the veins faster. And uh, here is a, a patient of ours uh, with similar baloney ulcers, large uh, ulcers uh, on the ankles and uh, uh, when she came to us, she's got she got big ulcers at uh, you know at uh, and the in the medial lateral side both that is on the outside of the ankle on the inside of the ankle large discoloration and uh, as we use this method we could see that the ulcer healing for one week post op one month post op and instantly this lady came six months later and there was a huge uh, crowd of of patients waiting and she came and sat and I saw her legs and. Uh, uh, I, I asked her why have you come here. I didn't even I, I'd forgotten uh, the uh, that she had big wounds on the legs, and it was quite a surprise to me that uh, I couldn't believe that uh, you know this was the result. And you could see the pictures over there. Uh, you could make out slight outlines of the of the ulcers, mm. 
but this was an amazing result and uh, this is uh, similarly what we can give our patients to who have such ulcers below which uh, uh, which would heal slower with the conventional axis but uh, this helps us get slightly better results than what we would so uh, that is what we you know thanks for talking to us and uh, i hope uh, this helps our patients understand uh, some uh, nuances of treating uh, varicose veins with vena seal and uh, uh, have a good day thank you thank you